Hey everybody, this is Aaron Alsop with CinemaSpice.net and today I want to show you the new Master Clips effects in the new update to Adobe Premiere. Now, Master Clips effects is, is really great when you're working with a bunch of different clips and you want to color grade them so they're all the same. So for example, in this uh, sequence here, I have a video I made of a local bike shop explaining the process of building a high-end bike. So, as you can see, I've got a bunch of different clips here. I've got montage of him putting it together. I've got clips from other videos. And I've got this interview here that I filmed. Uh, it was a two camera interview. And now I have to color grade it. And it's kind of this big hassle because I'll grade this clip and then I'll copy and paste it on this one and then this one and then this one and then this one. With master clips, it solves all that. You apply the effect to the master clip and it applies it to all of these. Fortunately, using master clips is extremely easy to use. You have to first find the clip that you want to do in the source bin. Uh, so you can either go in the source bin if you know where it is, or you, you can go here, right click, and go reveal in project. It's going to open it up here. Here's the clip. Now you want to make sure that you double click on this so it brings it up into the source monitor. And there it's at. And if we go to effects control, we'll notice that there are no effects there. So we have it here. Let's just say we want to add a basic RGB curves. We'll add that here. You'll see that plus sign. That's when you know you're going to add it. Let's say we'll go with a simple S curve. Let's just say we're going to add some red in there and we are going to add some blue in the shadows. And we're going to make this really magenta just so you can kind of see what it is. We're going for this Instagram look. So we've got that, right? Now, if we open this up, we'll notice that there's no video effects applied. However, it's still got that purple curve to it. So as you go through, you'll notice that all these clips have that on there. Like I said, it's extremely easy to use. The one thing is you need to make sure that you have the clip selected from the projects folder and not from the timeline. If you double click this, you know, you see it brings it up in the source bin and it's the specific sub clip of MVI underscore 0003. You need to make sure that you go into your projects folder, bring that clip up, that's your master clip, and add the effects to that, whatever effects you want to do. So that there really quick is how to use the master clip uh, with a new Adobe Premiere update. I'm going to do two other videos on how to use the live text mode uh, to create dynamic uh, lower thirds and other things uh, using an After Effects and also how to use the new mask tracker. So make sure to click those links to watch those. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. If you have any questions about uh, the new Adobe Premiere or you know maybe you're thinking about switching over to Adobe from another editing program and you got some questions, make sure to leave those below. I'll make sure to answer those the best I can, or maybe not, somebody else will. Anyways, this is Aaron Alsop with Cinema Spice. Make sure to go to cinemaspice.net for any of your After Effects, presets, video elements, overlays, backgrounds, or whatever it is you need to spice up your films. Thanks for watching and have a great day.